and welcome to The Vegan Runner. I'm Rachel or Mrs Vegan Runner and today I'll be sharing my first impressions of the Hoka Oni Oni Rincon 2. Before we begin, I want to let you know that these shoes were a Christmas present from my husband, bought with our own money. No one's paying me to make this review and the following thoughts and opinions are my own. So with that out of the way, let's take a closer look at these neutral shoes by Hoka. This is the second model in the Rincon series with changes to the upper material and is slightly wider in the toe than its predecessor. In my size, women's five and a half, this shoe weighs 205 grams or 7.2 ounces. I'm enjoying the weight of this shoe. It's a lot lighter than it looks and the leg turnover feels effortless. It has a stack height of 26 millimeters at the heel and 21 millimeters at the toe, giving it a drop of five millimeters. The Rincon 2 comes in lots of attractive colorways and at the moment they're all priced at around 105 pounds. I've gone for this lovely two-tone blue-purple colourway. Like pretty much all of my running shoes, I've gone for half a size up to accommodate to my slightly wider feet. I found that the fit is perfect for me. Um, they're definitely the most comfortable shoe I currently wear. They come in slightly longer than some shoes, but I haven't found this an issue at all. My foot felt really secure and it doesn't seem to bunch up in the front of my toes. There's plenty of room width-wise. <laughs> The upper is made from an engineered sandwich mesh, which is really lightweight, yet offers good structure and support. It's semi-elastic and soft, so it can accommodate different foot shapes whilst feeling secure and offers really good flexibility. It doesn't crease up whilst I'm running and it felt nice and roomy. In fact, my first impression was how little I could notice the shoes on top of my foot, something that I have recently been struggling with in other shoes. It's not going to be as breathable as mesh or weave material, but I didn't find any problems with my feet overheating during a long run. It'll be interesting to see how well they breathe when it gets a bit warmer. The tongue isn't gusseted, but it stays in place really well during my run, and its minimal design contributes to that lightweight feel. It's a soft and fairly thin material, which isn't too plush, but provides just enough cushioning without it squishing the top of your foot. The laces are soft, flat and slightly stretchy so that they fit over the foot nice and comfortably. And the eyelets are nice and minimal with six holes going up each side with an optional seventh hole for more lacing options. I really like this amount of eyelets as it gives a really secure fit around the foot and distributes any pressure from the laces evenly. I was very impressed with the lockdown. I didn't have to fiddle around with the lacing to adjust the shape of my foot and I didn't need to tie tightly at all. The tension stayed the same all the way through my run and didn't come loose or undone. The heel cup really contributes to the brilliant lockdown I experienced. It just fits like a glove. Really supportive, fairly firm. I didn't feel any rubbing or pinching around the ankles or heel. During my run, I noticed that my ankles and my feet didn't roll or twist. It felt like a really smooth ride. Even when running up and down steep hills, my feet stayed securely in place without slipping. Moving on from the minimalist upper 
to the maximalist midsole that hokers are so well known for. They always look and feel a bit like a pair of trampolines, but I was quite surprised how firm these felt, particularly in comparison to my Speedgoat 4s, which are trail shoes, and you would expect this to be the other way around. Initially, these were a lot firmer than I expected, but after 20 miles or so, they softened up a bit. With some maximalist shoes I've tried, this kind of stack height can cause a bit of ankle instability, which I'm happy to say is not the case with these Rincon 2s. These shoes feature a low profile cushion bed that keeps your foot close to the ground and the firmness gives you more efficient push off. The EVA foam provides enough cushioning without feeling like you're running on jelly. They also utilize Hoka's early stage metal rocker technology, allowing for a quick acceleration. I really noticed how easy it was to pick up the pace mid run. As they're built on a straight last, they lined my feet up nicely, give me a smooth and comfortable ride. I wouldn't say that they offer the same kind of pop as other shoes, but this is definitely made up for by the comfortable, lightweight, stable and smooth ride. The outer consists of a couple of strategically placed pieces of high abrasion rubber on the forefoot and the heel, leaving a large amount of exposed EVA foam covering the rest of the outsole. I think this may reduce the durability, but this is a trade-off for the lightweight feel of the shoe. After 65 miles you can already see a little bit of wear but since the roads around here are so full of small rocks and debris I think they've held up fairly well. I did notice that a couple of stones got caught in the nooks and crannies in the foam but I only noticed this when checking for wear after finishing my run. I didn't actually feel or hear them whilst running and when I took the stones out they didn't leave any damage. With such a large stack of foam, I think it will take quite a while to wear through, but it will be interesting to see how they are after a couple of hundred miles. So far, I've been running in fairly wet conditions up and down hills, and the grip has been superb. I didn't slip at all. I haven't tried any speed work in them yet, but I'm confident that they will provide enough traction to get me through most of my speed workouts. This shoe would be a great choice for anyone looking for an everyday training shoe. A shoe that can just do it all. So far, I've done a number of three to eight mile runs in them and I've really enjoyed running these distances. I can definitely see myself running half marathon very comfortably in these. And if you are looking for a lightweight marathon shoe that offers comfort, stability and a good acceleration, then this could be the shoe for you. I hope you've enjoyed the video, that you're well and healthy. And until the next one, be the best you.